You know, if someone came to me and said, I think what TV needs right now is a new show about teens and vampires, I probably would have said, Maybe not. But lo and behold, the CW is still riding that Vampire Diaries wagon, and last year brought us their newest show, Legacies. I gotta say though, it is oddly fitting that the teen vampire genre never dies, you know, like it's very on brand. But anyway, for better or worse, as you all know, anytime there's a new teen drama, you better believe I'll be there. So let's check it out. But before that, really quick, this video is brought to you by Swagbucks. Now I know with a name like Swagbucks, you're probably thinking, <laughs> What? But Swagbucks is a market research site that gives you points for surfing the web, watching videos, online shopping, like probably stuff you already do. And these points can be redeemed for gift cards for Amazon, Walmart, Starbucks, whatever. So if you're strapped for cash after the holiday season, you can sign up now and get five bucks towards your first gift card just for using my link down in the description. Okay, back to the show. Legacy stars Landon and Raphael, two foster brothers who find themselves in hot water when Raphael starts showing signs that he just might be a werewolf. <laughs> But before he can be exorcised by the local priest, Hope, this magical witch girl over here, along with a skinny Jim Gaffigan, show up to save Raphael and take both him and his brother to the Salvatore school. How do you two know each other? He used to serve me milkshakes at the Mystic Girl. Peanut butter blast, whipped cream on the bottom. And you always wore that red shirt on Thursdays, and that one time you picked your nose and thought nobody was watching, I was watching. Anyway, they arrive at the school, which turns out is basically just like Xavier's X-Men school, but like, you know, what if everyone's superpower was angst? Raphael goes off and has his own little tour of the school, while Landon gets interrogated about his brother and what's been going on with him. Well, let's start with who he killed recently. His girlfriend. Cassie. He was driving, it was a storm, he took a turn too fast. At first I thought it was just grief. And then he threw a 200 pound lawnmower 50 feet across the yard. Consistent with the newly triggered wolf. Really? Cause I feel like that just kind of happens every year at Thanksgiving in my family. You know, like you got that one uncle that just has to bring up politics and next thing you know, lawnmowers and TVs flying everywhere. After this, they try to make Landon forget everything cause you know, he's a normie. Forget everything you've seen or learned since last night. Bet, 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 bet. Do you think that's where it's gonna end? Nope. Are you two out of your minds? How could I forget any of this? MJ, did you do it wrong? No, I didn't do it wrong. Flashing sideways back to Raphael, one of the girls giving him a tour decides to share some information that nobody asked for. Guys like you make me nervous. Guys like me? You know, hot, angry, damaged. You know, you think you like guys like that, but let me tell you, okay, you are in for a life of misery, my friend. But I mean, I get it, you know, like I used to think that I was into those manic pixie girls or whatever they're called, but turns out they don't have an off switch or anything and they're just like that all the time. Flashing back to Landon, he wakes up in what's supposed to be, I guess, some kind of holding cell or something, but really it just looks like every bedroom on Pinterest. Anyway, so he wakes up and shares a moment with Hope. I'm remembering the day we danced the town square. This guy who used to mess with me in school finally got what was coming to him. I'd had a good day. What do you, mean? you want me to dance with you? Kind of living in the moment here. Just like me to crush on the girl with the most baggage. Yeah, it always kind of ends up that way, doesn't it? You know, you see a girl, you think she's cute, and looks like she's got a good head on her shoulders, whatever that means. And you think to yourself, you know, I think I'd like to get to know her better. But then you flash forward a couple weeks and she's showing you her collection of like headless dolls and jars of toenails or whatever. I mean, let me tell you, it happens every time, right guys? Anybody? No? Just me? Anyway, so she leaves and Landon's cell door mysteriously opens. Mm -hmm. And he gets magically dragged across the floor and out of the prison and somehow ends up at a high school party. Rob? You all right? Uh, they helped me get you out. Summoning spell. Did I bruise you? I'm really still working out the kinks. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? No, no, you didn't, because why would any normal person think that? So here is where Landon learns that Raphael is totally fine and starts meeting all his new friends. I was talking to these wolf dudes back here. All that stuff I've been feeling. Everything that gets me into trouble. It's normal. I want you to meet him. I think it's best if I just take this opportunity to jump the fence and disappear. I'll go with you. Ralph, no. Man, it's you and me. Whatever we do, we do it together. Yeah, about that. You know, I've been meaning to bring this up for a while, but like, do you think maybe we could talk about personal space here? Cause I mean, it's starting to get a little weird. So seeing Raphael having such a good time with his new friends, Landon realizes that maybe his brother is better off at the school after all. So he slips out undetected and comes face to face with a werewolf.
Are you crazy? I almost killed you! That's right, turns out it was actually Hope the whole time! Who, surprise surprise, is just one of those overachievers, you know, who does everything? I mean, come on Hope, you got witch powers, you got werewolf powers, what's next? You tell me you can check your ATM balance and not cry every time? I mean, come on CW, I can only suspend my disbelief so much. Now after this, we learn that Hope is the child of Klaus, and what's her face from the originals, which is why she's special. And she's actually part werewolf, part witch, part vampire. But then the conversation takes a weird turn. Can I show you something? Earlier you mentioned the jock that had messed with you the day that we danced. Well, I ripped off his head and put it in a box. You wanna see? He did that for me. He had it coming. Well. Okay. Anyway, so the next day they successfully wipe Landon's memory and he says goodbye to his brother and leaves to return to his normal life, blissfully unaware of the school and werewolves and hope and superpowers and all that kind of stuff. Just kidding! His memory wasn't wiped at all. He was just pretending. And get this, before he left the school, he stole some like magic knife or whatever. You know, it's almost like, like, like maybe he has superpowers of his own. When he walked out that door, we compelled him to go home. So? So, he didn't. It was the first place we checked. And if he didn't go home, that means his memory wasn't erased. He was just pretending that it was. His mind can't be controlled by a supernatural being, then that only means one thing. That he is a supernatural being. Yeah, that's what I just said, but like, you know, I said it better, so, yeah. And the episode ends with everyone on the hunt, trying to find Landon and get the knife back before it's too late. You know, despite the general trend of my videos, I actually do try to keep an open mind when I'm watching a new show, although just by virtue of Legacies being part of the Vampire Diaries, you know, cinematic universe or whatever, I kinda already knew what to expect, but real talk, I actually thought the show was pretty alright. Of course, with any show that has teens and superpowers and vampires and all that stuff, like, you kind of have to expect a certain level of cheese. Although, to my surprise, the show does kind of go out of its way to shed a lot of the cheesiness of Vampire Diaries and the whole, like, Twilight influence, you know what I mean? Like, there's even a part where one of the vampire characters specifically talks about that, which I thought was a nice touch. No, it's like Twilight ruined all vampire mythos, okay? Y'all want reality, y'all gotta go old school, okay? My man Blade, he is the GOAT. He's of course, this is, you know, just the pilot episode, but it seems like the show walks the line pretty well between being self-aware but not giving you the old wink wink every five seconds like some shows do. Now the show is new and could eventually fall into tropey garbage I guess, but if you're looking for a new show to watch, meh, this one might do it for you. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. So first of all, Happy New Year. 2019, you know, it's hard to believe that we're already this close to 2020, still no flying cars. You know, when I started watching Legacies, I was totally expecting it to be another dumb teen vampire show. It's like, all right, here we go. Strap yourselves in, guys. But like, at least here at the beginning, like the way they're setting up the show, like I said in the video, I thought it was actually pretty good and, and it was actually interesting. Like, it's not like the greatest show I've ever seen, but it's like, I was like, okay, yeah, this is, this is very different than what I was expecting. Like I said in the video it seems to have a happy medium where it's not too serious but it's not too like cheesy twilight it's kind of walking this middle ground and like it's it seems to be very much aware of what it is now of course where the show goes from here is going to make it or break it you know like like i said it's still in the first season and and we'll see how it goes a lot of shows when they get to season two and three tend to fall apart but we'll see anyway thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos follow me on twitter let me know what's your favorite part of the video or what tv show or movie should i do next or just just say hi whatever follow my dog charlie on instagram Charlie meets pumpkin and above all else everybody have a great day and I'll see you all next time.